Some people say that relationships based on friendship will end well but it doesn't seem to be the case for Yin. For years, Yin has harbored feelings in their heart, hoping for a good ending. Every day, Yin thinks that he also likes her because he shows her small acts of attention. But maybe he is just the type of person who is caring towards his friends. Whether Yin is hoping too much or not, one thing is certain. Right now, Yin can only keep her feelings to herself, hesitating to confess but also afraid of losing him. Hey! Yin turned and smiled at Jungkook, her best friend. She closed her diary and ran towards him. Where's Yoonwoo? Yoonwoo will never like you, Yin. He loves Mina. Jungkook was picking Yin up at the library, and now they were heading to the cafeteria together. Mina likes you, not Yoonwoo. Well, my good looks do mesmerize many women. Yin immediately punched his arm lightly and pinched his waist, but this time quite hard. Next time, if you want to dream, do it at your own house. Yin laughed at his groan of pain from her pinch but then fell silent when she saw Yoonwoo and Mina eating together in the cafeteria. Seeing this, Jungkook immediately put his arm around Yin and whispered in her ear. Face it, he doesn't like you. An amused smile played on Jungkook's lips. Yin immediately stepped on his foot and walked quickly toward Mina and Yoonwoo. Sorry I'm late. Yin promptly sat down next to Mina. I know you have a lot of assignments. Why did you have to take art? There are so many other programs. Yin glanced at Jungkook who was sitting casually next to Yoonwoo and eating his snacks without permission. How rude. Because I want to teach my friend about art and manners. Yin laughed as Jungkook raised his eyebrows and stared at her. You're lucky to be in the same class as Jungkook. He's loved art since he was a kid. Yoonwoo smiled at Yin, his dimples making her almost smile back. But she had to hold it in. She couldn't let him know she liked him. Actually, there's no benefit at all. Jungkook never wants to be in a group with me. He always refuses and worse, the professors always trust him. If you were smart, I'm sure you could be that influential too but you're not as good as me in art. Mina, I regret majoring in art. Should I follow your path and become a doctor? I'm afraid you'd end up killing your patients. Yoonwoo's laughter made Mina, Jungkook, and even Yin laugh. Damn, how could you think of something so evil? Oh my, Yin, I'm not as mean as Yoonwoo, am I? I always support you in any situation. Any situation? You were laughing too, seriously. She lightly smacked his hand on the table. Art is also a form of intelligence. Not everyone is good at it. Some people are very rigid. Wow, thank you, Mina. You really are my best friend. I hope you find a kind-hearted partner. Someone who isn't mischievous and has good manners. Yes, I hope the same for Yin, that she finds a partner who isn't mischievous, has good manners, and, um, has a lot of patience. Whoever ends up with Yin will surely be happy because she's kind-hearted and always willing to help. Oh really? Why is it that whenever I ask for help, she always has 10,000 excuses? Don't lie, as far as I know, my life is filled with helping you. Mina gently tapped Jungkook's hand. At least if Yin can't help you, you can always ask me, Jungkook. I can help you too, Jungkook. Yin fell silent, observing the positive interaction between Mina and Yunwoo. They seemed very compatible, while Yin, she was beginning to feel out of place. It's okay, because I actually enjoy bothering Yin. Jungkook grabbed her drink which had somehow ended up on the table and winked at her, seemingly without a care in the world. That was what happened in the library cafeteria. Jungkook, Yoonwoo, Mina, and Yin had been friends since childhood. They all went to the same university but split into two different paths. Yoonwoo and Mina were in the medical faculty while Jungkook and Yin were in the art faculty. Despite being in different buildings, they still gathered frequently, usually meeting for lunch at a central spot, the cafeteria in the library building, just like they were doing now. The next day, Jungkook hugged Yin and seated her in the music class. Wait for me here, I'm going to get my laptop from the art class. Yin sighed and started playing the piano in the music class. Yin began humming a song and stopped when she saw Yoon was standing at the door of the music class. With a smile, he stepped closer and sat beside Yin. Can you sing the song I found you? Yoonwoo looked at Yin while Yin nodded and started singing, accompanied by the piano. Yin could see Yoonwoo nodding along to the beat of the music and joining in to sing. When the song ended, Yoonwoo looked at Yin and held her hand tightly. Actually, I've wanted to say this for a long time. Yoonwoo stroked Yin's hand gently, understanding that Yin was surprised by their current situation. Of course, since middle school they had been friends, and until today he had never touched Yin. Never. But I was scared. Scared I was wrong. Yin. Do you like me? Yin was silent and looked at Yunwoo, not replying. She just stayed quiet. I thank you for your feelings, but I'm sorry. I can't return your feelings, Yin. I like Mina. Yin remained silent, 
not responding to his words. This was truly shocking for her. And, I plan to confess my feelings to Mina tonight. All this time I have been delaying it because I know Mina likes Jungkook. But before I tell Mina, I need to sort things out and give you an answer. I don't want you to be heartbroken because of me. I'm grateful that you liked me, Yin. I'm sorry. All this time, I never saw you as a girl or a woman. I really saw you as my sister, my friend, my little sister. So, thank you for liking me. Yin looked at Yunwu, feeling a mix of pain from being rejected, but also a relief. With a smile and holding back tears, Yin finally tried to accept this reality. It's okay. I hope everything goes well. Hopefully Mina accepts your feelings. Thank you for telling me all this. Thank you so much to Jungkook for telling me. Huh? Jungkook. Oh my god. That guy. He's such a traitor. Mina confessed her feelings to Jungkook and he rejected her. Jungkook said he didn't like Mina and thanked her for the feelings she had kept hidden all this time. After that, Jungkook asked me to confess my feelings to you. At first, I was confused. But now I understand why you always looked at me shyly hesitated to sit next to me, and more. Turns out, oh, turns out, you liked me. Yes. Now it's time for me to let go of my feelings. Yunwu now hugged Yin. He knew she was almost in tears earlier. Perhaps his words could comfort her. I think it's time for you to open your eyes, Yin. See around you who is always there for you. All right then. I'll leave. Yin remained silent, but she nodded shortly after. At that moment, Jungkook opened the door to the music class and smiled. Mina is waiting for you in the art class. Yunwu nodded and hurried out of the music class, leaving Yin and Jungkook both speechless. Jungkook walked closer and sat right beside Yin. For some reason, Yin felt a nervous tension in her heart. Being so close to Jungkook, her heart raced. Jungkook, you know I like Yunwu, right? Some people say relationships built on friendship or companionship will end well, but I don't think so. For years, I've harbored feelings in my heart, hoping for a good ending. Every day. I've been thinking that maybe he likes me too, because he gives me little attention. But maybe he's just the type who cares for his friends. I don't know if I'm hoping to much or what, but all I can do is bury my feelings, hesitant to confess, but afraid to lose. Jungkook smiled and embraced Yin. He had often hugged Yin, but this time there was a stirring in her heart. Perhaps what Yunwu had told her earlier made her realize who had always been there for her. Who else but Jungkook? Looking at Jungkook, who was now embracing her, their bodies pressed close from the side. Yin could smell Jungkook's cologne, and for some reason, in their current position, her heart pounded unusually fast. Yet all along, Jungkook had been different from Yunwu. While Yunwu never touched her, Jungkook had often been so close, even embracing her, since long ago. I've always thought the same way. Why don't you ever see me? Why do you always look at Yunwu when I've always been here for you? I'm afraid of losing you too. How does this happen? Jungkook now began to hold her hand, their gazes locked. I understand how you feel when you always look at Yunwu but he always looks at Mina. That's how I feel too. Jungkook's hand remained steadfastly holding hers, his thumb continually stroking her hand. Jungkook had done this many times before, but Yin never realized the meaning behind his touch and gestures all this time. If Mina were in her position, she would probably be very happy because Mina surely longed to be touched by him like this. But it turned out that Jungkook only wanted to touch her while she had always desired Yunwu. I heard Mina already confessed her feelings to you? Yes. That's right. It turns out she's braver than you because she dared to be honest with me. For some reason, hearing him praise Mina stirred a feeling of annoyance in her heart. She finally pulled her hand from his grasp but Jungkook held on with his strength. Why don't you just accept Mina's love if you admire her so much? I admire her because she dared to confess her feelings but I don't love her. The girl I love isn't her. Jungkook smiled sweetly while looking at Yin, then raised her hand, still holding it and planted a few kisses on it. Yin blushed, her heart raced and she felt butterflies fluttering in her stomach. Jungkook's lips felt soft on her skin. Her cheeks were now truly flushed. She cried earlier when she heard me admit that the girl I've always loved is you. No one can replace you in my heart, including her. But suddenly, Jungkook's smile turned into a look of sorrow. Yin could see his eyes starting to turn red and he seemed to be struggling to control his breathing to stay calm. Suddenly, he released her hand and quickly stood up. Sorry, I have to go. Jungkook was ready to walk away from Yin but now Yin was not willing to let him go. She quickly ran and approached him who was almost at the door, then hugged him tightly from behind. I'm sorry, Jungkook. Please don't leave me. Now I can truly feel your love for me and it makes me very happy. I'm sorry if I've been so blind to your love for me all this time. Jungkook remained silent but he was truly listening to what Yin was saying, words he had longed to hear for years. Finally, Yin hugged him and pleaded for him to stay with her, which was all Jungkook ever wanted. 
He finally turned around and now their eyes met, gazing at each other. Both their hearts were pounding. His gaze shifted to her lips, the lips he had always wanted to kiss but had only been able to admire from afar. His right palm slowly rose and cupped her left cheek, moving down to her left neck, gently touching it before finally pulling her neck closer until their faces were very close and he kissed her lips. Yin was surprised for a moment but then smiled in the middle of his kiss and kissed him back. They exchanged kisses and Yin could feel the depth of Jungkook's emotions through the kiss. Yin wrapped her arms around his neck while Jungkook hugged her possessively. Their eyes were closed, enjoying the moment of their first kiss. After a few moments, their lips parted. I love you Yin. I love you so much. It doesn't matter if you don't love me now but open your heart to me. I'm sure that one day you will love me too. How can you be so sure? Because I know that even if you haven't loved me all this time, you won't let me love you one-sidedly for long. You are a kind and gentle-hearted girl who won't be able to let me suffer like this once you know my feelings. Your only weakness is that you've been unaware of my feelings. Jungkook's right hand cupped her left cheek again and kissed her lips softly for a few seconds. See. You can't even bring yourself to reject my kiss. Soon, you'll definitely return my feelings. Yin was stunned by his words. He was being very straightforward now. Yin then laughed softly. Being loved this deeply by you, how could I not reciprocate? I've just realized something now. What is it? For me, feeling loved is far more pleasant than loving. When I was with Yun Wu, I loved him and it felt suffocating. But knowing that you love me feels so much more relieving and joyful. Yin finally wrapped her arms around his neck and gave him a brief kiss on his lips. I will return your feelings. Eventually, I will love you because you deserve to have your love reciprocated. 20 years later. So sweet. So did you really return dad's feelings? Did you truly fall in love with him? Of course. Can't you see how much your mother loves me now? Yes, I can see that. Love and friendship can be very complicated. Anything can happen. So, sweetheart, it's up to you whether you want to pursue Alex whom you love, or Luke who has always been there for you. But I just want to say, as a woman, it's often better to be loved by a man who loves you than to chase after a man who loves someone else. I support you being with Luke rather than Alex who is now in love with Lala. Alright? Mom and Dad, I think I know what I have to do now. What? I'm going to see Luke. I don't want to keep him waiting for my feelings any longer. It turns out you and your mother are alike. I guarantee Luke will be lucky to have you because you are our wonderful daughter. Alright, mom and dad, I'm going now. After saying that, Mona left the house, leaving Jungkook and Yin alone. It's so nostalgic seeing our daughter like that. Yes, it's like seeing the old you in her.